hey guys welcome back to my channel come get ready with me this is the starting canvas i'm gonna start off by using my smashbox foundation i've tried switching out my foundation many times but i always go back to this foundation because it doesn't leave my face oily throughout the day it stays pretty matte and i love that i'm applying the foundation with a foundation brush i feel like i can apply my foundation with the brush a lot faster than using a beauty blender so it just works for me other thing that i really like about this foundation is look at that color match it looks like it's my skin like it's so perfect i apply this all over including on my eyelids i don't even use eyeshadow primer at this point i just use foundation and concealer the only downside about this foundation is that i could only get it on the smashbox website i never used to wear concealer but when i got my engagement pictures taken I hired a makeup artist and she introduced me to this NARS concealer so I got into it so now I'm into concealer. I like blending it out with a beauty blender. I try using a brush but I don't like how that blends out. It doesn't blend it out as evenly as the beauty blender does. And I also like blending it out into my upper eyelid just because I do suffer from hyperpigmentation around my eye area and I like to have a blank canvas so when I apply eyeshadow I just have a crisp look and I pretty much use that as my primer. Now I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever foundation powder and this is another product just like my Smashbox foundation that I keep going back to. I've been using this product for years and I just love it. I use this to set the foundation and the concealer in place and I just use it all over my face, under my eyes, and on my eyelids. For a while, I was using the House Labs translucent powder to set everything in place but I prefer to use the foundation powder instead of the translucent powder. I feel like this powder foundation gives me a blurring effect and it brings everything together. I got my eyebrows microbladed around two years ago now and my eyebrows are still there. I feel like I don't need to really fill them in but I still do so I go in with the NYX pencil and I go in very lightly as you can see. I don't do much. I just kind of fill in the blanks or like not even blanks because I don't have any bald spots. But I just kind of make them a little bit darker. This eyebrow pencil is the best eyebrow pencil in the market. Go get one. It's cheap and it's the best. <laughs> I usually go in with some eyebrow gel but I didn't do it on camera for whatever reason, but that happens. <laughs> now onto my favorite part, blush. And I'm using the House Labs Watermelon Bliss. And I know that something was distracting me here. I usually put on a lot more blush and I like to put blush on my nose, kind of like if I got sunburned. And I don't know what happened, but I didn't do that here. Now I'm going in with my House Labs highlighter in raw amber and i'm only applying a little bit i'm gonna apply more later on for my eyeshadow look i'm gonna be using this house labs eyeshadow palette and this is some og shit <laughs> there's a possibility that this palette might be expired i'm not gonna lie but i'm still loving this palette <laughs> this palette is from the initial house labs launch when gaga had partnered with Amazon and House Labs was being sold through Amazon. This was before the rebrand, before it was like vegan and cruelty free and before it was sold at Sephora pretty much. So I'm using the lightest shade as my base shade and I'm applying that all over my lid and then I'm using this like mauve color to pretty much go into my crease as a transition color as you can see there and I'm on the phone with my brother and you can tell that I'm like really loving this conversation and it looks juicy AF <laughs> 
and I'm blending, blending. Right here I didn't show you, but I can tell that I dip into that kind of like burgundy brownish color. And as you can see, I didn't switch out my brush and I have a tendency of doing that. I never really switch out brushes. I just change colors and I use the same brush. No big deal. This palette has the most perfect blackest black that I like to use for my eyeliner. So I'm using an eyeliner brush and I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. I don't use lashes every day, but today I am. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these off camera as well. Boom, there she is. Now time for some more highlighter. I like to put some on the tip of my nose and then on top of my Medusa near my lip. Now I'm gonna put some more lip oil. I love using lip oils, lip glosses, anything that moisturizes for sure. So I'm using the Revolution lip oil. Ugh, something got in my mouth. That was gross. I'm gonna use some mascara. You for sure need to blend those lashes into our real lashes. After I do that, I'm gonna apply some mascara to my lower lashes to make sure that it kind of evens out. You don't wanna have really like naked bottom lashes and humongous upper lashes. I'm gonna be using my ColourPop times Becky G palette. And this is the perfect inner corner eyeshadow i always wear it with any look this is my go-to it's the perfect color and i really love this palette this is another palette that i've had for like forever so <laughs> you know what that means but i'm still using it i don't even think they have it for sale anymore so this is the final look i'm gonna put my hair down I had just showered here, so my hair looks kind of wet and funny, but it's okay. Look at that color. I'm really liking this new color. I really enjoyed doing my makeup. It just makes me feel good, and I was feeling myself after doing my makeup here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.